In this video, I'm going to show you how to make images just like this, where there's a shape and a person or object is poking out of it. This is a very popular way of displaying images right now on the internet and I'm gonna make it so easy that anyone can do it if you're sitting there thinking there ain't no way I'm gonna be able to do this well I challenge you to make it through the few minutes of this video and you're gonna be surprised yourself hey if you like videos like this click on that subscribe button okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna use a free online graphics creation tool and it happens to be the tool that I use to create my thumbnails and the various graphics that I create that I need to make really quick I have a professional graphic designer for most things but if I need something quick I use this tool alright so here is the tool right here open up a new tab and go to wpcrafter.com slash glorify now there's also going to be this link in the video description box down below and it's going to take you to glorify that's the name of the app glorify and uh, they have a free account that you can set up so when you come here go ahead and click where it says start for free now and it's going to take us to a pricing table, but there's a free option. Now, I'm not here trying to sell anybody on anything, okay? Uh, it's just a tool that I use. You can accomplish that type of graphic I just showed you very easily. Okay, now there's one convenience that you'd get with the paid plan, but I'm gonna show you an alternative, and that is their magic background remover. So if you see, I've got this image of me here, and the background is removed. Now there's a free way of doing this, uh, but here's a way that the tool actually do it. So you could just open up a new tab, go to Google, and type free background removal. There's a bunch of websites that allow you to do this. Here is one right here that I think is quite popular, remove Move BG. There's just some resolution limitations with it, but a lot of people use this and it's really intelligent and really easy to use. So you're going to need your background removed. You might already have it removed, but you'll just want to use a tool like this. Okay, so when you come here, and there's other things that it includes, but I'm not going to go over any of that. Uh, let me just scroll down to show you the plans. Here we go. There is a free plan, and that is what we're going to use for this video. Now, I've created a free account. I have a paid account, but I created a free account just to show you that you're going to be able to do all this stuff. So I'll go ahead and log into that now. Okay, here I am logged in, and you can see right here where I created it. But I'm going to show you how to do this all from scratch. Okay, so this has all kinds of templates and all that kind of stuff we're not going to use any of it we're going to make our own blank canvas and so right here it says select a custom size canvas for your design now for me i have chose 1000 by 1000 and then i clicked right here where it says custom resize and this is going to take us into the tool and it's giving us this blank canvas that you see right here. Now the first step is gonna to be to choose the shape that we're gonna place the person in. And what we could do is we could go right here where it says elements, and there's all these options here. What we're going to do is we're gonna use a blob, so that type of shape right here is referred to as a blob. You don't have to choose a blob, but we're going to choose a blob. If you wanted something different, you could click right here where it says shapes, and you can use any of these shapes that they have. They'll all work. But I'm gonna be trendy and go with the blob. So it's right here where it says blob maker, and here is an example of what it's going to look like. Now, blobs have different complexities to it. So for me, I set this complexity to a 12. You can see how as I increase this, the shape of the blob kind of changes. And then what you want to do is click on generate right here until you see a blob shape that you like. So I'm gonna click on generate until I see one that I like um, that one's okay uh, how about that that's actually kind of per perfect now don't worry about changing the color right now go ahead and click add to canvas and then here it is so I'm gonna drag this to the bottom right corner and just kind of make it larger as large as I want it uh, there we go just like that now let's choose a fill color so right here it says shape color and when I click where it is red you can choose a different color or there's an option right here to add a gradient so when you turn that on 
You can choose your two gradient colors if you want, and here's a dial for it. So I was just clicking through, and actually I kind of like that. Uh, let's see. That's kind of cool with the blue. Uh, there's all different variations that you can do. Uh, okay, okay, let's just, for sake of choosing something, I'm going to go with this. Okay, so now I have my color in the background of the blob. Now what I want to do is add a little bit of shadow to lift it off the page. If you see right here, there's a bit of shadow and I've lifted it off the page some. Uh, so actually, let me move that up a little bit so there'll be enough space for my shadow. All right, so what we could do is click on this tab right here that says shadow and then we're going to toggle this on and I don't like the way it looks so right off the bat. So I change these values to zero and vertical distance to zero. And then on the blur, I like to start at 10. And you can see it looks very thick. I don't like that. So what I do is, let me get back into shadow. I clicked off. Where it says opacity, I dial this down. And I think I'm gonna go to like a 50. It's all your personal preference. And then where it says blur, I'm gonna increase this to kind of spread the blur out a little bit. Now one thing you wanna make sure is that this is high enough that the blur doesn't get cut off down here. I just noticed it right here. If you look closely, it might be, yeah, you can see it in the video. Uh, the blur's getting cut off some. Actually, is that the blur getting cut off? Yeah, that looks like the blur is definitely getting cut off. So you'll wanna have it uh, lifted up some. All right, that looks good to me. So now what we need to do is get our object inside here. Now, like I said, you if you don't have one of the paid plans, you have to already have an image with the background removed. So what you'll do right here is click on Add Image. And you would then click on Uploads, and you could click here to upload your image. But you can see I've already uploaded the image of me with the background removed. Remember, you can go to remove.bg or just do a quick Google search. Okay, so I'm going to click on my image, and there I am. But you notice there's a problem, and that problem is I'm getting cut off. Uh, but don't worry, we're going to uh, we're going to work around that. So we might want to play around with the positioning of me in the image. So there's this option here that says reposition. So first I'm going to zoom in a bit like that. That looks fine. And then it's an option here to move it vertically. And then here's an option to move it horizontally. So I might do something like that, maybe lift it up just a tad. There we go. But we still have this problem where half my head is missing. Well, there's an easy fix for this, and it's not precise, but it's very easy. So I'm gonna go back here where it says My Files. Now that I've uploaded an image, it's gonna save it. And here is that image. So whatever you just uploaded to get inside the blob, it's gonna be found here. So go ahead and click on that again. And now what we need to do is click on the image that was just dropped in right here. And we have options for that image. And the second option here says crop. I'm gonna go ahead and click on crop. And then right here, I'm gonna click where it says crop. And what I need to do is crop out uh, most of my body there. And also this space on the left and the right, I'm gonna crop that out. So we're just left with uh, the remainder of my bald head uh, and we have it there so um, uh, I'll click uh, apply and now we've got my head in there and now we're just gonna play around with this and we're gonna try to get this to overlay that um, and it's not a precise thing uh, that's fine so um, I'm gonna go down like that I'm actually pretty close I've got my full ear and let me click off and see what it's looking like Maybe let me zoom in just a little bit and see where I'm going wrong. Maybe I think I have it just a little too large. There we go, like that. Let me go over a little and uh, nope, that's not quite it. Maybe I should have done a different job of cropping. It looks like I'm a little too high. How about that? Okay, let me just tweak it just a little bit. There we go, after a little tweaking, I got it lined up just enough. And actually the image I originally uploaded of me wasn't high resolution, so we're just gonna work with it. And there it is. But we can also add a effect 
to change the color like that. So what I'm going to do is click right here and I'm going to click right here where it says effects and here are some pre put in effects and I'm going to choose one of those but you could dial in your own effect. So I chose this one right here and you can see it added the effect to the my the image of me in there but I have to also apply it to that little bit of my head right there so I'm gonna click on it and do the same thing and there we have it we have a blob image um, with a drop shadow and I'm in it like that so now what we need to do is probably go right here and give this a name and because we're going to be able to save it. Okay, I put a name in and then right here there's going to be some options to save. Go ahead and click save right now and then click on download and what we need to do is choose transparent PNG. And so now what happened is the file has been downloaded to your computer. So here I am and I'm just using a page builder called Elementor. So what you'll want to do is click on edit with Elementor or whatever tool you're using. You could go ahead and just click on edit, get in there. And so I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on choose image and I'm going to go ahead and click on select file to choose the image I just downloaded. Okay, I've selected the image and I'm going to click on insert media and then click on update. And you can see there, there it is, a whole new blob image. And it was easy to do. It was very easy to do. Anyone could do this. Of course, there was a little uh, tweaking here or there. So anyways, that's all that I have for you in this video. If you like these types of tutorials, hey, click on the subscribe button. And if you found any value in this video, help me out by clicking the thumbs up. You can ask questions about this tool or these techniques down below in the comment section. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And I'll see you in the next one.